Hi, I'm Bill Swanson, President of Tri-County Air Conditioning and Heating. And today we're gonna to talk about what to expect from your new air conditioning system. You think, buy, if I buy something new, it's not gonna break down and it's gonna keep me comfortable all the time. Well, that may have been last decade, but this decade, that's not gonna happen. But what are you gonna get from your new air conditioning system? You're gonna get more, a more efficient system meaning you're gonna buy an air conditioner that has a higher uh, miles per gallon uh, than your older uh, system. Just like your car gets you know, 40 miles per gallon and you buy another car, a newer car that gets 60 miles per gallon, it's like, wow, you save money on your, on your fuel. Well, the same is true with your air conditioning system. And the measurement that they use to, to calculate the efficiency of the air conditioner is a SEER seasonal energy efficiency ratio and it basically is how many BTUs do we remove from your house and how many kilowatt hours did it cost to remove those hours the, the, that heat so the higher the sear the more efficient the air conditioning system is and today the engineers have done a great job with getting efficiency as, as high as 25 sear 15 years ago that was unheard of but now you can get efficiencies 22 23 24 25 sear so the, the amount of money that you spend to stay comfortable decreases that's what you can get with the new air conditioning system the new air conditioning systems are also quieter uh, they have variable speeds they sort of ramp up and they ramp down they're quiet and there's like this this higher comfort potential that you can get with these with these new systems they can remove a more humidity when the humidity increases inside your home or they can remove less so it's able to keep you more comfortable now of course with those systems that are able to, to, to track the humidity and the comfort, the cost also goes up. 15, 20 years ago, it was, it was unheard of to have a variable speed compressor. But right now there are variable speed compressors and there are two speed compressors and of course the standard single speed compressor out there. So technology has increased to increase the comfort potential. Then you also have the ease of operation with the new systems. A lot of these systems are now communicating. You can use uh, uh, Wi-Fi thermostats and you can use your own uh, uh, PDA device, your phone, and change the thermostat uh, in your house. Um, and literally, I can be laying in bed and it's like, oh, I feel, I, I feel uh, warm. I grab my phone, r run the temperature down a couple degrees, and and set it down. Yes, we are lazy, and I'm lazy, but you can do that with these new systems now. Now, what are the down, the, the, the negatives of the new systems? Well, unfortunately, the lifespan, the expected lifespan of your new air conditioner is not gonna be like your old air conditioner or even the air conditioner before that. So the, how long is that air conditioner gonna last? has decreased. And also, the frequency of repairs we've noticed are increasing. It's not uh, uh, if the air conditioner is going to need to be repaired, it's when and how often. Now people ask, well, what manufacturer has the least amount of repairs? Unfortunately, they all uh, have repairs. And, and it has to do, I believe, with the quality of the material the copper, the copper alloys, the aluminum uh, that is going into the motor windings, uh, the windings on the relays, and uh, the coil, um, making the coil more durable. Now the engineers have to fight about this increased efficiency, and they have this, oh, but you can't raise the cost of the equipment too much, and what they do to increase the efficiency is they've been thinning the, the, the dimension of the copper and they're sort of like working that, uh, that balance point of increased efficiency in heat transfer and how long we can make that, that coil last. But if there happens to be a small, minute um, deficiency in that quality of that copper where they get 
from you know other countries and even in some here in the United States, it will have a failure. So we have seen a huge increase in evaporator coil failures from every manufacturer. And we're still trying to find that, that manufacturer that doesn't have those, those high frequency of failures. But it's going to happen. As they say, they just don't make them like they used to. Well, when it comes to the frequency of the failures, that is true. They just don't make them like they used to. The longevity, it's, it's just a shame that we're buying appliances that, are, that you just re replace. Um, you know, your dishwasher, how long is your dishwasher gonna last compared to your dishwasher you bought 15 uh, years ago? It's just, they're just not built to last like they were. But remember, you do get uh, better efficiency, you get a choir system, you get a higher technology for comfort, and you also get this ease of operation and Wi-Fi. So there are some good benefits uh, to, to take into consideration. But thank you, and as always, if you have any questions, just give us a call. No matter